uh, obviously having some trouble with Lisa's audio. We'll hopefully try, maybe we can try to hook up with her again in a little bit. All right. Well, news of a possible river crest in Fargo-Moorhead brought a smile to the faces of those on the front line. And today I visited uh, with uh, several folks along River Drive in South Fargo who say that they are feeling a little better about their chances. Generators run continuously, pumping the unwanted water back into the Red River. For Zach Kabrinsky, there's been no change in his routine. Make sure that hose is free of ice, the gas tank is full, and above all, there are no major breaks in the man-made mountain of sandbags cold. that protects his parents' home. You know, there, there, were, there were a couple days where we were, we were feeling pretty down in the dumps, a little pessimistic, but uh, we're feeling pretty good now. And uh, I mean, it's, I mean, look at this, it's, it's insane. It's estimated there are about 25 or 30 percent of the homes are evacuated here, but for folks like that gentleman and others along this stretch, those that are remained, it's up to them to man the pumps. And they're not alone. National Guard soldiers and local law enforcement walk through the neighborhood patrolling the area, looking for any problems, especially significant leaks in the dike. Pretty surreal, really. I mean, it's, you know, we're witnessing history right now, record levels. If it does flood, it's on my main level. There's not a lot I can do. As you can see, we have the other secondary levee there that we're kind of stuck in the middle, but I guess that's what you get when you live on the river. While the clay continues to be hauled in to reinforce the contingency dike, those on the wrong side now can hang their optimism on scenes like this. It's a water line showing that the river is down, a water line that everyone is hoping becomes more noticeable. I just talked with Zach Kabrinsky a few minutes ago. He tells me that everything continues to go as it has. He's noticed that the river has dropped a little more. Other family members and friends are there now to help out.